Hey guys, what's going on? Mike the Caveman Q here again from Paleo Palm Long Island, MikeTheCaveman.com. And today's question is, should you be eating iodized salt for iodine? I'm the caveman. And the answer is, no. Now I know what you're thinking. That's right. We need to reduce our salt intake. And that would be wrong as well. The reason being, as we've talked about before, salt is super important for your health. However, you should be using pink salt or some other unrefined salt. That way, you're getting in actual other minerals besides your sodium, chloride, and the enriched iodine. But back to that iodine for a second. Iodine is an essential mineral. It has roles in proper immune function, cognitive function and energy levels, infant and fetal development, and of course, the obvious of thyroid health. In fact, iodine is an essential component of the thyroid hormones, triiodothyronine and thyroxine, or T3 and T4. So clearly you wanna get in enough iodine, but should you be getting it from salt? And the answer is still no. The only reason iodine is added to salt, and in fact why most enriched foods even exist, is the fact that governmental agencies over the last 100 years have presumed that you are not intelligent enough to be micronutrient sufficient without them. So we need to add vitamins and minerals to everything to make sure everyone stays healthy. Although given the way we kind of destroyed the food supply, it isn't inherently wrong. But that being said, the best sources of iodine are actually sea vegetables. Things like kelp and dulse and nori. From there, we move on to fish like scallops and cod, shrimp, salmon and tuna. And rounding out top 10, we have full fat grass fed dairy like yogurt as well as eggs. So honestly, you'd be better off having some full fat grass fed yogurt for breakfast or some pasture raised eggs and then having some fish at night and even the occasional sushi. So your biggest takeaways are no, we don't need to enrich our foods, including salt in order to be micronutrient sufficient. Don't believe that hype. Actually eat your real foods. In this case, particularly your full fat grass fed organic dairy, such as yogurt, your pasture raised eggs, as well as plenty of seafood and the occasional sushi. From there, consider adding things like dulse, either as a flake form or like the thin strips to your salads, to your omelets, and you're going to be fine on your iodine. If you have a condition that explicitly needs more iodine, then supplement as necessary. Just don't use the iodized salt. Use our actual real salt. But if you want some more information on whether you should be concerned about your salt intake or what we can actually do about hypothyroid, take a look at these videos over here. But either way, hope that helped you out, guys. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Palm Long Island and, of course, over at MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Get in your iodine, and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't let it fit. Make better food choices. Now, I'm not I'm saying don't enjoy it. Iodine is an essential component of the thyroid hormones, triiodothyronine and thyroxine, or T3 and T4. BAM! <laughs> I should leave that part in. <laughs> the excited, yes, I got it!